Hi, I'm from Tools for Apabi. Today, we are going to demonstrate complete production cycle of VRTM process, that is, vacuum assisted resin transfer molding. VRTM is a versatile process that offers high quality parts in a controlled and consistent manner. It is ideal for rail coach interiors, bus, and other commercial vehicle industry, furniture, and industrial applications. For today's tutorial, we have taken mold of a chair. First step is to prepare the mold with release system. This is important for safety of mold. We are using Prolens semi-permanent release system that consists of cleaning, sealer and releaser. In a simple way, operator can remember 1, 2, 3 for application. Apply cleaner once which helps clean the mold surface thoroughly. Apply sealer twice which helps seal micro pores on the mold surface. Apply releaser thrice. It is important that we apply three coats with a gap of five minutes each. After the third coat, leave the mold for some time and let the release liquid dry completely. Now, we are ready to gel coat the mold. We have chosen white, pre-pigmented and pre-accelerated spray grade gel coat. We will be using one of the most versatile spray can for gel coat application, GS100. Always remember to cover the flange areas of both core and cavity of your VARTM mold. This ensures safety of vacuum seals and increases life of the mold. GS100 is an internal mix spray gun. So, measure and mix your catalyst well. We recommend using catalyst dispenser to measure catalyst and bucket mixing stick to mix gel coat and catalyst. This ensures homogeneous mix. Spraying gel coat saves you both material and time. You can achieve up to 600 micron coating thickness with a single spray. No need to waste time waiting between the coats. By the time gel coat is curing, let's prepare the fiberglass reinforcement. We are using sandwich flow mat having top and bottom layer chopped glass with middle layer of PP core. Using KST1125 electric bench cutter for cutting the mat and KST2602 for profiling and trimming. This is a typical VARTM setup. VARTM machine has to be stationed next to mold which should be stationed next to vacuum station. Let's drape fiberglass mat on the mold. Remember to use at least a 50 mm wide strip of mat at the joint areas. Place the inserts at the designated areas on the mold. Always place a layer of fiberglass mat between gel coat and insert. Another layer on top of the insert. You could also use a styrene soluble spray adhesive to hold the mat on mold surface. Bring the top mold and now close the mold. These are inlet slash outlet ports for resin injection and air extraction. Here we are fixing a transparent tube at an outlet port and the other end of tube to a resin catch pot. This is for air extraction. Catch pot will be connected to vacuum station. Mold will be connected to vacuum station at two points. First, from the center of mold through a catch pot, like we just did a while ago. This is for air extraction and pulling resin through the actual part area. Second connection is at the flange areas for closing the mold and keeping it in the closed position throughout the process. VS300 model from our range of vacuum stations is being used. We are using Roberto NXT model from our VARTM range of equipment. Before we start the injection through Roberto NXT, always remember to recirculate the resin and catalyst. Ensure mixing head is clean and dry. You can flush a small amount of acetone and blast air through it. This will clean the mixing head of any impurities whatsoever. Check the connections and secure all tubes. As soon as we start the vacuum station, the mold will close. Please look carefully. Connect flange area tube and part area tubes to the air manifold on vacuum station. Ensure that you have achieved correct vacuum inside the mold. Please start injection from Roberto NXT. As per the volume of mold, we know how much resin is required. Making a quick calculation, we decide that 6 pump strokes will be enough to fill the mold and get small amount of resin in the catch pot. This is to make sure that no dry area remains, an entire part and fiberglass reinforcement is wet. Understanding gel time and injection time is very important. In VARTM process, you must set resin gel time a little more than the time required for injection. Let's check the catch pot. We see that resin has reached its gelation. We will stop injection immediately. Cut the resin in lead tubes and secure them with masking tape. Our VARTM equipment is free and can go to inject the other molds. 
vacuum station is still running. Remember, curing cyclofresin is between gelation and cure. In case we turn off the vacuum at this point, air entrapment will happen. So, we must run the vacuum till resin reaches semi-cure condition. Let's again check the catch pot for resin condition. Now, resin has reached semi-cure state. We will switch off vacuum from part area only. Vacuum from flange area continues to run for some more time. After complete cure, we are ready to open and they mold the part. Let's first undo all the tubing. Use air injected demolding wedge to blast air between the two molds. Using correct mold release will ensure that mold open on itself. Our part must always come with the top mold. This is also a very important part of the whole thought process of VARTM process cycle. Bottom mold should be as clean as possible. Now to demold the part, inject air at the vacuum point to soft release the part. Use wedges to demold now. It's a great feeling to see a perfect part out of mold. Let's also ensure there are no dry areas and resin plus fiberglass bonding has happened well. Take a light metal part and knock the demold part throughout. You will hear near metallic sound. Final finishing of part by trimming the resin flash. Use the correct sand disc. Here we show you how well CET works with FRP. This leaves smooth edges while creating little dust.